Random question. Do you think the fight between Anthony Joshua and John T. Ryder will ever happen? And I asked this question after I heard from Eddie Hearn in Abu Dhabi speaking today and saying that he's established communication between him and T. Ryder, particularly Shelly Finkel. Now, that relationship actually went extremely sour. What, I would say, what, 2017, 2018 times? Extremely sour. I asked this question because us fight fans, we, we, we want to see this fight. We want to see AJ knocking out John T. Wilder. We want to see the fireworks take place. But do we honestly, in our heart of heart, think it will happen? Like, if, we, if I put a hundred million pounds in front of you and you had to predict whether this fight will happen or not, what would your prediction be? Put it in the comment section below. I'd like to hear it. My prediction? I, I think this will happen. Both of these gentlemen, the last time that they sat on the table, tried to negotiate, were in. They were both in extremely high position. AJ was unified champion with three out of the four belts, and the last one was held by Deontay Wilder. Okay, at that period of time, Deontay Wilder was undefeated. Okay, AJ had the better resume, more money, more belts, more everything. The ego in negotiations was extremely high. Now. Both of these gentlemen have lost, well, Deontay Wilder's lost two and, and a half times because the first fight was a draw with Fury. But he's really taken two massive beatings against Tyson Fury. And Anthony Joshua has lost, uh, well, out of the following f what, five fights, he's lost three out of them. And one was against Andrew Ruiz. The other two were against Alexander Usyk. I know Alexander Usyk is a phenomenal fighter. The ego's a little bit more dropped because when you're undefeated, and you're winning and you're smacking people up here <laughs> you you could offer like 90 percent 10 percent or you could offer the craziest amount or you could give people the crazy offer because you think you're the best fighter in the world but when you receive that loss when you know that okay i might not be the best fighter in the world your objective now is to be as many good fighters as humanly possible and now that that focus and that that goal shifts automatically aj may have had that goal to begin with Deontay wilder based on his resume at that period of time probably didn't okay and after the fight between um Deontay wilder and helenius well even to be fair even in the build-up as well he was a lot more spiritual he's a lot more self-aware self-conscious going into that fight and it seems as though he's had some level of like a spiritual awakening. I know he's a very religious man, his father was a preacher, but he's he's had that um that self love moment that he had that 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 period of time where he's like any if you speak to him, all he's going to say is good. Whether it'll be in an interview, whether it will be regardless. He's not here to say that oh, I'm the baddest man on the planet, I'm here to catch a body. He's not saying any of things of those things anymore. He's covered with an air of humbleness and, and, and love and humility. So for me, I think, having said all of that, I think Deontay Wilder will probably be looking at AJ and be thinking, do you know what? We both got fobbed over by Tyson Fury. Okay, before it was Team AJ versus Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. Now, <laughs> it's to be, it could very well be Deontay Wilder and AJ versus Tyson Fury. Because Deontay Wilder was in court with Tyson Fury in an arbitration because Tyson Fury tried to evade the contractual agreement that they had to have a third fight. Even the second fight ended horribly, um, well, after the fight, the aftermath was Deontay Wilder saying things like Tyson Fury cheated in the ring. All of those factors combined and the fact that I think AJ is looking to redeem himself and, and, and fight the best of the best the undisputed is a bit of a, a way away, so a fight maybe next year against Dillian and then Dante Wilder. People would want to watch that. I, I think this fight will happen. I genuinely think if this if there was a hundred M's on the table, I'd say, listen, OTC, you have to predict whether this fight will happen or not. My honest and genuine opinion is that this fight will happen. Who do I think is gonna win? It's, there's only one winner in this. His, na his name is Anthony Joshua. Anthony, AJ, Oluwa Femi, Joshua, yeah, Femi from the block, is about to smack up Deontay Wilder. I like Deontay Wilder. I'm actually going to to be a fan of him. I actually, at one stage of, 
of this whole boxing journey, I, I, I couldn't stand Deontay Wilder for a couple of the things that he stood for and how he conducted himself. But now this version of him, I'm a, I'm on board, um, and so I think AJ will beat him extremely bad. But at the same time, I do not think this is going to points. I think someone's getting sparked out. And I'm excited to see the outcome of that, definitely. Apparently, this they're looking um, at the possibility of this fight maybe taking place in, in Africa, it's somewhere, maybe in Nigeria. That will be phenomenal. That will be phenomenal. I will literally be contemplating to go to Nigeria just to see that fight. Oh, bruv, the atmosphere. Oh, my goodness. Bruv, imagine... Imagine them just driving from the airport, not even the airport, from the hotel to the to the arena. Bruv, there's going to be, when, when they look out the window, there's going to be a bunch of people trying to chase down that vehicle. It's going to be a madness. I, I, honestly, it's going, like, I, I, I've already spoken it into existence. This fight is happening next year in Nigeria or somewhere in Africa. I mean, if it's not Nigeria, we're looking at maybe a, a South Africa, Kenya. There we are. I was about to suggest Somalia, but it's a, yeah. But it's not going to happen there, a hundred percent. But let me know what you guys think in the cover section below. Um, am I just away with the fairies? Am I hopeful and, and dreaming? Let me know. Peace, love, and prosperity. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Peace.